Hello, welcome to the RBTI online class special video series. This is the first time one of these series has ever been held, at least from the, for the RBTI online class. And my name is Michael Olsta. I will be your instructor. I've been involved with the RBTI since 1984 when I, through a health crisis of my own, needed to uh, get my, health, my own health in order and nothing was really working uh, outside of uh, the RBTI until I found it. Um, I found a tester in Nashville, New Hampshire after my wife and I had just gotten back from Europe and uh, I just couldn't believe at how quickly my health began to return. My uh, wife Deborah also, she began to uh, experience some problems and she ended up going to Dr. Reem's retreat where she spent uh, three weeks. It took that long for her to get into Rain J. She came back in uh, great condition and uh, continued to increase in her health and our children were experiencing much better health. Well, our youngest hadn't really experienced any negative, but our, our oldest had. And everybody was feeling so great. And at that point, I decided that I just had to learn how to do this. I thought it would be a great uh, addition to my ministry. So I started taking the classes with uh, Dr. Manthe, who at the time was teaching for Dr. Reams. Um, and, uh, but Dr. Reams would show up for the class. He would show up generally on the last day and teach for about four hours. And during those four hours, we could ask questions as well. It was very, very interesting. Um, I took all of Dr. Manthe's classes, which were the equivalent of Dr. Reams' uh, sessions one through seven. Uh, Dr. Reams had nine sessions. Eight and nine were never really taught publicly, although they were taught to a select few individuals and I am in possession of those materials now at least to a certain extent and I hope to uh, teach those at some point in the future or at least put them into a computer program which I think will uh, be a real blessing to people who remember the days when Dr. Reams did some could see many amazing things in these numbers and what we'll find out is that there was no hocus pocus or anything like that to it it's all math it's all based on math and energy matter heat and electricity and how energy is going in and going out of the body and where it's being lost in great amounts or too small amounts or perfect amounts and this can all be graphed out when the formulas are uh, in one's possession and one knows what they're doing. Uh, I would like to also tell you that uh, anything that I teach here on this film, it is, a, it is copyrighted uh, and it's protected by the laws of the United States and the Constitution. I just ask folks, uh, you know, use it for your personal use only. Uh, the, the only way that I can keep my uh, ministry and my uh, business going is if uh, I get sales and it doesn't get passed around and then I get put out of business. So just do the right thing and we'll keep learning all of us together. What I wanted to do was go through, uh, it's on my website uh, that talks about the the class and how I'm going to or organize the lessons each uh, in each video and I'll just go through, read essentially how the order of it goes. Um, each lesson follows a carefully planned outline, and it, the order of teaching is below here, which I will get to in a minute. There are going to be 50 weeks of lessons. This is our first lesson. It's an introductory lesson, but there will be plenty of uh, material for you to go through here, and uh, I don't want you to get overwhelmed by the amount of material. So I tend to include more. I tend to like to keep the cup running over instead of uh, keeping it half full. Uh, but I will make sure to point out what is the most important things to memorize, the most important aspects of the program to uh, get under your belt immediately, and everything else will just be more frosting on the cake. So what we will do today is we're going to go through an introductory lesson. I'm going to go through essentially giving you how the body goes from perfect and breaks down into eventually cause, making us not feel as well as we should. Uh, if the body gets, goes too far in its loss of energy, reserve energy that is, it will get to a point where um, the uh, doctors can diagnose such as a disease. And it's very important to understand that we do not diagnose, we do not prevent disease, we do not uh, treat 
excuse me, we only check for energy in and energy out and we do so by looking at these numbers and we'll show you just how to see if the energy in is in proper ratio with the energy out. If more energy is being lost per day than should be taken in, then it, that is the person's first day of illness. That is one rule as well and we'll get to that later on. But we are a, a, a body of matter, electricity, and, and heat, and there has to be a balance between the negative and positive ions in our body. Not only a balance in having exact numbers of each on each side, but there has to be a balance of exact totals on each side for the body to function properly, and we'll go through all that as well, step by step. Today we're going to look at, and every day, we'll always look at the lesson, we'll look at an RBTI equation. Uh, today we're going to look at the perfect equation, because everything is to be compared with a perfect equation. And every time we look at another equation to see how we would approach working with it, uh, we will always compare that equation with perfect. Uh, that it, it is comparing with perfect that tells you how to approach the problem of a of an equation that's away from perfect. We're also going to have some fun. We're going to give you a recipe and I'll go through the breakdown of the most important uh, foods in that recipe and give you an idea of just what we're eating, what it does for the body. I think you'll find that very interesting as well. Uh, we're also going to, every lesson, we're going to deal with a fad fact or fallacy about diet, nutrition, and health in general. Dr. Manthe wrote a really good paper talking about fads, facts, and fallacies. And what you're going to find is, is that too many groups, with best of intentions, of course, have become very dogmatic about certain things. No white sugar, no white flour, no this, no mixing of these types of foods. Uh, whereas, in some sense, they can be right, but in another sense, they get so dogmatic that uh, they go a little overboard. And we'll get, we're going to show where there is a place to use certain foods that, for the most part, uh, we would recommend against, but there can be a place for them. Uh, as the scripture says, you know, moderation in all things. Let your moderation be known unto all men, I think the scripture says. Um, we're going to also in, we're going to in, uh, memorize one rule, an important rule. There are seven of them that we learn in session A, or the first two sessions that Dr. Reams taught. And we're going to go through these, whether you want, we understand them completely or not. They're short, and what you can do is just memorize it each week. I'm going to go through all seven for the first seven weeks, and then we're going to repeat them again and repeat them again. And by the time we get to our theory training, you will have memorized all seven rules and, and they are very helpful when you're thinking about w working with a person. And the more you begin to understand how to work these numbers, the better and, the, and why they work, the better tester you will become both for yourself, your family, and for others if you care to do this as a ministry or a business.